What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today it is Tuesday. I am wearing my brand new Gymshark gear. Check the link in the description if you want to purchase something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for just putting that out there. Anyways, today another q and A. I I wanted to let you guys know that I ordered my PC this morning. So that should be in very very soon so I can build it. My Elgato is coming in tomorrow so I can finally record and stream and make gaming videos so please let me know in the comment section down below right now while liking the video by the way like 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 comment down below what kind of gaming videos you want to see and if you want me to stream let me know i asked you guys questions on instagram on twitter and on snapchat so we're gonna start with instagram and pick out the best ones we have over 150 questions guys would you ever learn to backflip i can backflip i haven't done it in a very very long time so i wouldn't do it right now but I can do a backflip. Um, what's your most popular favorite healthy meal? Rice and chicken? No, no, no. It's actually rice and steak. I like steak better than chicken. Is taking protein after the workout important if you get the needed amount before uh, the workout? So, um, basically, I believe, uh, my belief is that um, you don't need to take protein right after your um, workout. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. I never done it um, and I still made some gains so it's not really necessary in my opinion. On the other hand though it is very good to um, get in a certain pattern during the day so you don't forget to take it. So if you want to take it because you remember because it's after workout then I say yes do it. Um, if you um, remember it another time of the day that's also perfect in my opinion. How big are your arms? Um, I'm not sure. I never ever measured them, ever. Um, so I don't know. What is your warm up in every training session? So this is a good question. This is a little bit more informative. Um, what I do every single time I go lift, um, is six days in a week by the way, um, is I take a foam roller and I start rolling my whole back, lower back, the upper back. Uh, I do one side at a time, I do the other side at a time. Um, then when it's done, I turn and crack my back once on this side and then this side. So everything is nice and cracked. <laughs> I like the feeling of cracking. Um, and then I foam roll um, the glutes because they're always very tight um, for me. And I um, foam roll a little bit of the hamstrings. Um, if I train legs, um, I go on a treadmill for 15 minutes and just walk or 10. Um, that's what I do for legs as a warm up before warm up sets, obviously for squats or whatever you want to start with. Um, with upper body, I do the with the dumbbells. The um, with the dumbbells, I do the rotator cuff. So the first one I do this, um, the second one I do this, and the third one, I just do like front raises, side raises, and just a little bit get everything you know rolling and fluid in the shoulders, get some blood flow. Um, you know, get warm for um, whatever I'm training, it's back or it's shoulders or, or chest or whatever it is. Beforehand, I just started with warm up sets, whatever exercise I wanted to do. And you know, it, the first two sets after that, the working, working sets, uh, didn't really feel that well because you were still warming up. So um, implement good, uh, implementing a good warm up is definitely a must do in my opinion, uh, because it just gets you ready. Um, you get your body ready, but maybe also your mind. You also maybe get your mind ready. How many press-ups can you do in a row? I don't know. And I'm not going to show you guys right now. Uh, well, the lighting just changed completely. Wait, it's gone. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you guys very soon because me and uh, Faye Sensi are planning to do a very cool video, a challenge video, kind of. Um, you'll see very, very soon. Uh, because that's going to be a lot of fun. Do you go through a bulking and cutting period? And if so, how long is each and what do you eat? So I've been bulking for the, the, like since I started, basically. Um, it's not a very huge bulk. I never was very bulky or very fat. It was always a fairly lean bulk. Um, I like to, to, to do it that way. I don't need to grow crazy fast. I don't like the look of being very very bulky because I'm only 5'7 so it, it kind of looks like a little bit of a, a round ton if I am too big I don't like that uh, but I plan on and I'm not sure but I plan on to get a to go on a cut for the very first time in April of next year so stay tuned for that I really want to do it I want to make a good series out of it we'll see what happens it's gonna be 
If we do it, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Are you gonna do a meetup in Holland? Let me know. Uh, let me know, guys, how many people I wanna wanna meet up. Let me know in the comments. Um, how many meals do you have throughout the day? Every time I eat something, uh, with some time between the last meal, is counted as a meal. I eat a lot of meals, like ten maybe, because I am not a very big eater in terms of portions and one meal or like a very huge amount of food. I cannot eat that much in w at once, uh, so I like to break it down in just you know having like thirty minutes between something, so I can let it sit and then I can eat something. For example, in the morning I have oats um, with whatever. Uh, like a banana or something and then I have some you know I do whatever I maybe I go shower then or I shower before or whatever or I do some work and then maybe 30 minutes later I have half a tub of um, quark uh, the, the high fat one and then I wait for a second and then I go cook my rice and chicken and then you know I'm ready to go to the gym so um, I could easily you could easily eat the quark and the rice and chicken in one sitting if you can eat a lot but I personally cannot eat a lot in one sitting so I like to split it up so it doesn't really matter how many times per day you eat is it four if it's nine if it's 25 as long as you get the calories and the macros in that you need for a day to be able to reach your goal in the long run Emma and face sensei Emma is face sensei's girlfriend asked me are you single love Emma and face Sensei. Emma, you know I am single and why do you put me on a spot like this <laughs> I am very insecure about this, guys. No, I'm just kidding. How are you guys liking this thing? I'm sorry. I'm not going to say anything. Christmas came early. Some... Yes! Someone with a Gymshark package. Let's go. How do you feel since people go out for a jog or a gym because of you? Bro, it's fucking awesome. The fact that people even are motivated or inspired by me or, you know, by me sharing my story or my journey, that's awesome, man. That's... Like, that's the best feeling in the world. It's, there's no better feeling than someone telling you that they do something because of you. Because something you did or something you preach. That's awesome. I want to see the... Look, Joel is um, one of the, 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 the girl that was in my fan um, training with fans video. The first one with her boyfriend, Sam. She asked me twice. I want to see the dance skills in the Q&A. What dance skills? I can't even dance, man. What the hell is she on about? Have you ever considered doing online coaching? Yes, I have and I might still in the future. Do you recommend taking creatine if I'm 16? So creatine is one of the most um, asked questions on every fitness channel for some reason. Guys, creatine is literally the most safe and the most researched supplement on the planet. Um, it's totally safe to take it um, as long as you don't take too much. Um, creatine is created naturally in your body creatine is is natural um it is in red meat for example so guys creatine is good you should take it i just buy the cheapest literally the cheapest creatine monohydrate that's always what people tell told me that was always what people told me in the, in the gym like don't spend a lot of money on creatine because it's literally you the, the best ones are the cheapest ones the creatine monohydrate, very cheap ones. Obviously, it depends on price, on how much is in it, but it, should, it shouldn't be more than, than 10, 15 bucks. Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for listening to my voice. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you can leave a thumbs up on a video, that would mean a whole lot to me. Um, seeing a lot of thumbs up on videos really motivates me to make more videos. Um, it truly does. Um, obviously, your comments even motivate me more. Um, and the Snapchats like this and questions and, and Instagram DMs are always very, very motivated to stay doing what I do. And I really love it. But if you can comment down below uh, what kind of gaming videos you want to see from me. Because you, you guys obviously have been asking for, for over a year now. Um, where you can finally do it. So I'm really, really excited for it. And... Um, Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.